All right, I'm going to show you how to get time markers out of a Pro Tools session and into a Grand MA2 time code and sequence. And we're going to do this by exporting a MIDI file in Pro Tools and using a free Python script to help import this into an MA show file. Uh, now, there are commercial tools available to help do this, and many of them are much, much better and user more user friendly and offer a lot more features than this. So, this is just a quick and dirty way to do it for free. So to do it, you'll need a Pro Tools, um, the Pro Tools application to create markers in the MIDI file. Although you could do this procedure on any MIDI file that has markers written into it. You'll need a Grand MA2 console or on PC software. I'll be using on PC for this. You'll need Python 3 installed on your computer to run the script. And you'll need a Unix-like environment. So for example, a Mac will work, a Linux machine. Or if you're running Windows, you'll need something like Git Bash, which comes part of uh, Git for Windows. Since my odd PC machine is obviously running Windows, I'll be demonstrating this in Git Bash on the Windows machine. So let's switch over to the on PC machine. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is go to the GitHub page and grab this script. The link will be in the description. And I'm going to go ahead and click Clone and copy the link. And let's open a git bash shell here on our desktop. So I'm going to type git clone. I'm going to paste that URL. And then we're going to cd into that. If you follow along with the instructions in the readme here, you'll see that to install it, you'll start by running the build.sh script. And this will build the application and make it available for you to use. Since we're in Windows, the command to activate the Python virtual environment is source uh, venv scripts activate. The next thing you'll want to do is go into your MA session. And you'll want to identify an empty sequence pool item. So for us, let's pick 150. An executor. Let's go on page 2 and use executor 10. And we'll need an empty timecode item too. So timecode item 1 will be defined. Now I'm going to switch over back to my Pro Tools machine. You can see I have markers defined for many points in the song. And I want to export these into my MA session. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a new track. And we want to add a MIDI track. Doesn't matter what you call it. In fact, you can even hide this. As long as it's active, that's all you need. It just needs to be in your session. Go to Export MIDI. And it doesn't really matter if you choose a multi-track or single track. Session start is going to be good for us. And we're going to save this to the markers to time code directory on our on PC system. So we'll call this demo.mid and switch back over to our on PC system. You can see that this exists here in the uh, directory we're working in as demo.mid. So now let's take a look at some of the options that the script takes. The script is called MIDI to GMA2 TC, MIDI to Grand MA2 timecode. So if I issue the dash dash help command, you'll see all the options it takes. So for our situation, we decided we were going to use sequence 150, timecode slot 1, page 2, executor 10, and while it will try to detect frame rate from the MIDI file, I've found that it usually has the wrong number written in the file, so I'm going to manually specify frame rate as 30 frames per second. And we can give it a label as well. So let's call this demo song. And you'll see here that the last three arguments are the MIDI file itself, in our case, demo.mid, the timecode out file. So let's call this demo tc. .xml. And then the last argument is the macro file. So demo macro.xml. Hit enter. And if we actually pull this up, you'll see that it is just written demo macro and demo tc.xml. Now we'll want to copy these into our MA data directory. So you know that this is in C program data, 
MA Lighting Technologies, Grand MA, whichever version you're using. And then you're going to copy the demo macro into your macros directory. And then your demo TC into the import export directory. Now, if you want to do this in one shot, there are examples on the GitHub page of how you can do this all programmatically and have them automatically saved into these two directories. Now let's pop back into MA and open our command prompt. So let's import our macro first. Import demo macro.xml at macro and we'll use macro 300, which is free. Now we can either run this macro or just type go macro 300. And you'll see that it's created the time code, it's created the executor, and it's created the sequence. Let me actually select that macro, or excuse me, select that executor. And you can see we have a sequence here with all of those markers from Pro Tools. We have the time code here with all of our cues already marked out. And if we were to go back here to uh, Pro Tools, hit play. Now you won't hear this, I have it muted, but you can see the time code's coming through and it's automatically advancing through the queues. So that's it. That's the script. Any questions or comments are welcome. Hope you enjoy.